だだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだ So, <laughs> hi viewers. What's up? What's up? It's been a while. It has. But I don't, don't, don't want to do this. Lizzie's been busy with school, and I've been busy with、Work. my quarter life crisis <laughs> that's been happening basically for five years. You'll、so. pro- probably also periodically hear me coughing because I was sick. Really, really sick. And I will talk about those circumstances. Huh. <sighs> Oh, fuck this level. Yep. Okay, now I have to fucking remember how to do it. Okay. Cool. Oh, god, no. Can you. I thought you could eat the fire. I don't think so. <laughs> no! My cat is moving my computer. <laughs> no, oh, okay, you got the cape. You got the cape. Okay. I need that, though. Remember, we need this. Yeah, you need the trampoline. I know you need the trampoline, but. Okay, my cat left. <laughs> no, he was literally. Aw,、oh, fuck. He was literally moving. That's not where we need to put it. Dang it. You know、yeah, what? You need... Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> my cat was literally moving my computer to the point where、oh. it almost fell off the Damn table. It's <laughs> like, why aren't you grabbing the feather? Okay. Alright, l I got my buttons. You got, got it. You got this. I don't think you can eat、this. the fire, but. <coughs> anyway, for reasons that I am sick, you know, sometimes you just get sick. Right. Sometimes people at work get you sick. Like that happened to me a couple、uh, of weeks ago.、Uh, ah, the fire and the Yoshi coin. That was funny. <laughs> anyway. Um, but, like, I got really stressed out, and then the temperature dropped overnight to the, to like, it was like 80 degrees in the day, and then suddenly it was 40 degrees at night. Ooh. So, that was partially why I got sick, along with, uh, super stress. Uh. I always, you know, I always got kind of lucky I never got super、Fuck. sick when I got super stressed. Like, I would just, I generally just get, I don't get sick as much as I get, like, not very functional tired. But since I'm so、ah. used to being tired all the time anyway, it doesn't really bother me anymore. Right. So it's kind of like. <clears throat> Alright, I got this. So the stress reasons were all school related. So I think I talked about.、Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't remember if I talked about. No, I did. I did talk about this on camera where I have one professor who was being really unreasonable about expectations and all those things. Right. Like, some points are required where someone else asks a question and you have to answer it in class, and you have to do that five times to get 10% of your grade. <laughs> That's kind of. Okay. Yeah. So. Really stressed out about her class because she doesn't have the grade distribution listed anywhere. So I don't know if 90% is an A. I don't know if 95% is an A. I really don't know. And that's really great, isn't it? Not knowing. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah, no. Yeah. I don't remember how I did this part. Eh. I guess it was that. Eh. Yeah. Alright. So we're getting through the first half of, or the first quarter of the level fine. Okay. <laughs> cool. It's coming、Good、back、deal. to me. It's been a while, though. Yeah. <laughs> just, just. Yeah. Just go. Just go. No! Oh! I almost did it. <coughs> Sorry about cough. So I'm worried about her class. And we asked her in class, someone asked her. Is there going to be opportunity for extra credit points? And she said, no.、Uh, on the syllabus, there's a very clear, clear definition of what the points are, what the point distribution is.、Um, sh- the very first day of class, she went through the syllabus and it was like 10 points for this, 20 points for that, and it all added up to 100 points. So,、right. 
Okay, so she had a schedule, and... Okay, fair enough, then. Fair enough, that. but then she starts off with this, um, really annoying mindset that we were asking about points, and she's like, class shouldn't be a place to earn points. It should be about the learning experience, which... Uh, uh, okay, which... Um, although valid, although I get that as a concept level, the graduate school makes it physically impossible for us to do that. I talked about this last time where the, there's a 3.7 GPA minimum requirement, otherwise I am kicked out of school. Why? Uh, why did it? Oh my god, that was actually really That would have been really skillful, but no, that was ex exactly not skillful. So, like, I understand as a teacher, you want it to be <coughs> learning, not points. Right. But then don't structure your program to where yeah, it's so or, ridiculously hard to stay. Or you make it so that, like, it's really easy to get an A in your class because you understand that there's ridiculous expectations on your students. Right. You know? In graduate school, you know, A is kind of the uh, considered norm. Pretty much if you're middle of the class in a graduate class, then you should be getting an A. That's just how it, it's structured. What right. The grade, the grade idea is that if you get an A, it means that you are a PhD student. If you get a B, you are a master's student. If you get a C, you should have stopped at undergraduate. That's just okay. how it is. Okay. Um, Sounds reasonable. That's just how it's built. So, okay, fine. But if you're going to build it like that, you have to accommodate what kind of students you're going to have in here. Right. Because because I'm expected to... Who? No! Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! How I need the Yoshi, though. Ow. Yeah, you do. Yoshi! Oh. oh, the random fire! Wow, that's... I don't even think I've gotten to that Yoshi <laughs> In all of the however many videos <laughs> I've like, been doing this level, I don't think I've actually gotten to that point of the level. <laughs> or like, if I did, it's been once. Anyway, continue, sorry. Like, one of my classes, um, 50% was the average, but that was an A. If you got 50% of the class, you got an A. And he just structured it that way so he could measure where everyone is. Like, if everyone, if like 80% of the class is getting 90% and above, he doesn't really know where everyone stands. Right. So this way, he spread out the uh, <clears throat> percentage distribution so he could know, you know, what kind of people he's got in his classes. Right. And still have us not freak out about the A. You know? Right. Oh, God! So, I liked that. Um, and he, like, would always reassure us after we did our tests, like, here's the average, here's, like, the max and min, and if you were average, he, he always reassured you that if you're average, then you're fine. You're gonna get an A in this class. Right. <coughs> right, and I'm pretty sure last time I talked about my world history class about, or my music world history class about how, uh, you know, like, I gotta be in that because I fucking deserved it, and like, but it, it was like the expectation was, you are going to get an A most likely in this class, unless mm -hmm. you really just don't fucking try, and yeah. then you'll get the and it wasn't like I didn't fucking try, but I didn't try probably as hard as I should have, so it was kind of like... So I got a B, and I deserved a B, and I was okay with the B, because... The expectations were clear. I knew the clear. coming in, so... The expectations were clear. Yes, absolutely, they were. So, like, yeah, I understand, you know, as a teacher, ultimately you want the students to learn and not stress out about, you know, plus or minus five points. Right. But... It's impossible. At least the way she set it up. And so I'm stressed out about that. 
And then I'm in this other class where we're doing a group project. And speaking of, if you happen to have a Android phone, <laughs> I need people to participate in a user study, and I need to find 30 people before the 18th, and I've got 10. So, I'm gonna post a link to the instructions in the video, and if you have an Android, please, 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 please consider being a participant in my study. No, no, no hard feelings if you can't, though. Yeah, I, I would, but I have an iPhone that's on yeah. the verge of dying right now, so... Uh... <coughs> anyway, so... That study is for the group project, and we're doing... Oh god, I forgot that dude was there. <laughs> I literally walked into that section, saw him, and then died. <laughs> so... <laughs> he, uh... We're, it's a group project, and it's an app for the phone or whatever. And, uh, what we had to do... We've been working on this kind of like a mini, um industry thing so uh -huh. we're pretending like we're a little company and talking to the users and doing you know focus groups and all those things you know getting feedback from the users and trying to make a very good product to sell you know right fair <laughs> there was no way there's yeah, there's nothing i, I could do sure why you jumped down there i didn't mean to <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't kill me, please. Oh, I don't have to kill you. The stage will for me. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Um, so project number four was that we had to do a demo of our product to the teacher and the TAs. Okay. And it was a five-minute demo. And we had to discuss, you know, what worked, what didn't work, and uh, the eight golden rules that we applied to the user interface and all these things. So basically, he wanted us to go really, really fast. And What's the point of that? It's just sort of like an overview of where you are, I guess. But why? what's the point of doing it very, very quickly? Why can't you, like... He's got, like, 30 groups in the class, so... Okay, then that's his fault for not allotting enough time. Yeah, I don't know. But also, like, really short presentations, you can get a lot through it if you have practice. Ah. Right. Okay, fair enough. But so, then, like, the expectation needs to be accurate compared hmm. to the amount of time you have for the presentation. Sorry, am I getting too picky about this before you finish the story? <laughs> no, like, it, it's sort of tied to it, but that's not the problem we ended up having. So, oh, okay. the application that we made is this app for Android that connects to your Google Calendar. And you can import events from your calendar or create events in the app, and it will... <sighs> I saw that coming because the fire went a different way. Yeah. Oh, it bounced off the thing. I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it will automatically mute or unmute your phone based on events in your calendar or things that you create. So, you know, pretty handy. Especially yeah, if you're a student. Handy. Especially yeah. if you're a student, because your, uh, essentially work schedule is all fractured up by multiple classes. And right. once I've gotten into the habit of... Um, muting my phone before class, I always forget to unmute it. So that's why we were doing this thing. We had to uh, identify a problem with an interface. Okay. And then fix it. Okay. So the problem was. Uh, the. I have a. Continue. I have a follow up question at the end of your point. But yeah, the problem. The point. problem was the current interface of. Uh, manually muting or unmuting your phone uh, relies too much on user cognitive load. Basically, you have to remember that you need to turn it back off. Right. Back on and off, you know. Really and some people... <laughs> <laughs> some people, like, just leave their phone muted the entire day. Uh, my mom just <clears throat> leaves her phone in her office. Right. So, it was, you know, it's not like we're serving, uh, uh, fixing, uh, world hunger or cancer or anything, but, you know, it's just a little app to make your life easier. Right. 
Uh, what was your follow-up question? My follow-up question was actually, I think, related to what... Okay, so... Okay, hold on. Let me think of how I want to right. ask this. So, the you're, cre- so you're creating an app, right? Mm-hmm. As part of this? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Why did I jump? So you're <coughs> actually creating a an app as part of this project. Mm-hmm. Is that supposed to be part of the project? No, it can be anything. Um, the the idea was find an interface, a human computer interface that needs improvement. So it could be like an extension to Chrome, or it can be oh, okay, a web okay. service. Most people did like phone apps. Um, Okay, so, but in order to do that, Mm. you need to know how to program it. Yes. But didn't you say that, like, not a lot of people knew how to program in this particular... In human-centered computing? Yeah, Yeah. they don't. So that's why you were so stressed out. Yeah, because the other two people... From my understanding of our off our non... (laughs) Uh, we, by the way, fun fact, we do actually talk outside of... <laughs> when we're not playing video <laughs> games. <laughs> yeah, so from my understanding, from our talks outside of the videos, is that the some of your other classmates don't have as much experience with programming, so you were helping them with the programming. I wasn't actually helping anyone else because... Um... Uh, we were all doing our own thing, but the people in my group were more human-centered computing than I was, so they didn't really know coding too well. Right. So coding, when I was that's what it's not programming, coding. Yeah. It's same thing. It's the okay. same thing, really. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was a difference. This is awkward. Sketchy as fuck. This is awkward. This is really awkward. Why do you keep jumping up on top of him? I just want to say hi. Okay. <laughs> so I was freaking so like, out. Should there be like a coding programming class in the context of that major? There, it, or an, it, it is required. They just, to... it is required. They just don't like take to it. Like I was originally a computer science major, so I know coding and algorithms and all those nerd things. <laughs> Whereas human-centered computing is kind of. Um, touchy feely, kinda? Like, okay. um, like, a... it's about the human aspect of co- of computers as well as the coding aspect. I can't, you just got to... Okay. I wish okay, there was okay. a shortcut there. I know, that'd be nice. But it's a special mode, so you can't. Oh, oh no! I even, I even despawned the second wiggler too somehow. Yeah, there wasn't a second wiggler sitting. I think if you wait on top of that pipe, it despawns. Oh, okay. So let's try I that. I was just trying to be a frustrated person wanting a. Yeah, shortcut. let's let's try that. And then it just despawned the fucking second wiggler. Hey, <laughs> pro skills. Pro skills. Okay. Um, pro strats. Right now. Whoa. Okay. Okay. okay! Okay! Oh, come on! That was almost really great. Yeah, it was. Okay, so human centered computing is touchy feely. Yeah, like. You have a computer science background, so you know that coding, programming, algorithm y kind of stuff. Mm hmm. So. <laughs> so in this scenario. Yeah, this, this... You're basically getting screwed, it seems like. Yeah, um... The, uh... Okay. Amount of coding was getting to me and everything, and so we were freaking out a little bit. And it was about a week before the demo was due. And I was looking at what we needed to do and what was left to do. And basically told the group people, we can't do this. There's no way we can do this in time. And I am freaking out about this because uh, depression time, I felt like I was letting them down and that they were going to be better off without me and all those wonderful things that come along with depression. Yay, depression. So 
after they reassured me that, like, they're like, no, 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 we would have been screwed without you because we don't know coding. Um, we went and talked to the TA. Okay. <laughs> I know this story. They don't know this story. I know this yeah. story. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> so we talked to the TA and said, okay, we're trying to do this, but the Google API tutorials that I find. So it, Google API is... I, I forget what it stands for, but it's basically the way you communicate with Google and Google services. So, like, normally you go to, like, a website to see Google Calendar. The API is a way for your code to do that. Okay. Um, and I was looking up tutorials on how to do that, and they all used different things, and none of them I could get to work. And I didn't understand any of them. Hmm. So, I was getting more frustrated, which made it even harder to understand what was going on, and like, they all used different things, like one was an account manager f object, and the other one just used straight URLs, and there's like access tokens, and all these horrible things I had never seen before. So, I was freaking out. Right. So we went to talk to the TA and said, look, the Google API, we have no idea what any of these tutorials are saying and they all say different things so I don't know which one to pour my time and energy into. Correct. And we talked to the TA and said, what do we do? And he said, okay, okay um, what you want what, what I can do for you is um, you send me the links send me the links to the things that you have looked at. Okay. And he'll look through them and let us know which ones are... <laughs> which ones are... No, I need Yoshi! Wait, why do you need Yoshi? For that last jump. Oh, right! <laughs> oh, fuck. Technically, right. we can do it without Yoshi. But... I don't think we can. <laughs> so... He said, send me the things you've tried, and he'll look at them and see if he can make sense of it. And he's also said that if we need to pivot our uh, direction such that we don't use the Google Calendar, uh -huh. then that would be okay. And we wouldn't lose too many points for having to drop that aspect of the, the program. Like, okay. we would change it so that it would just use um, local events, things that you create in the app, rather than importing them. Okay. So we're like, okay, cool. And he also recommended um, <clears throat> looking up the uh, response format. So when you ask Google for, okay, give me a list of calendars, it returns it in a very specific format. Right. And so he suggested looking at the format returned and programming it up such that once we do get the API to connect, nothing else would need to be done. We would just program around that format and, and hard go code some things. So once we get the connection, it would all work. Okay. You know, planning ahead kind of thing. Okay, fair. And I hadn't, in my stress, I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah. I think for this guy, running further to the right than you're comfortable with is actually pretty safe. That's what yeah. I just noticed. So, I hadn't even thought of ri writing some hard-coded stuff and programming around that. I was trying to do the connection first, and everything else was uh, behind it, and so like we were getting nothing done except for frustration. So we were like, okay, that's great. If we have to drop the API, the Google API, then that's okay, but we'll do as much as we can. Right, <laughs> because this is a demo, mm -hmm. too. And the part... Oh, he also demo... specifically said, we don't expect a finished product by then. Okay, so you don't expect a finished product. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like that statement is a point of contention later in this story? Oh, I don't know, but it's about 25 minutes, and we will <laughs> find out in the next episode. <laughs> Stay tuned on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> next time on Dragon Ball Z. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Let's extend this for, like, 10 more episodes. <laughs>